Hi there, and welcome to the Ask Dr. Jack show. I'm Dr. Jack Bielitz, here to answer the questions that you ask. Today, a patient came in asking about leaky gut syndrome. Now, many of you may not even know what the heck that is. Most people by now have heard about it, but so many people have no idea what it is. So let's go into what that is, and then we can talk about the consequences if you should happen to have it. So, when you digest your food, it gets broken down in the stomach, then passes through a, uh, a organ called the small intestine. And the small intestine is lined with cells that allow some things to go through and some things not to go through. It's called a semi-permeable membrane. And uh, basically what it does is it allows the good digestive things that are going to be used for building blocks and helping you fight things and all that, all the good stuff, it allows it to come into the body and then you can use it. But anything that might not be digested right or might be bad for you, it kind of keeps it out and then it just kind of goes through the body and comes out the other end. So what a leaky gut syndrome it refers to is when bacteria that is not so good leaks through that membrane and gets into our body, making us sick or whatever. And so um, that's kind of in a nutshell what leaky gut syndrome is. Now, let's talk about the outcomes of leaky gut syndrome. Uh, to do that, I'm going to refer to a study that was done a few years ago, and uh, they did it with fruit flies. Now, you're thinking, what the heck does fruit flies have to do with the human body? Well, the nice thing about studying fruit flies is that they only live a very short lifetime. So we can kind of look at their whole lifespan in a very short amount of time and uh, 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 kind of determine what might happen or infer what might happen in the human being. Um, then the other thing is that they have mapped all of the genes in the fruit fly and they can turn them on and off. So we can kind of tailor make the fruit flies that we're looking for. Um, in this case, what they found in their initial <clears throat> research was that fruit flies who had leaky gut syndrome, in other words, who were allowing bacteria in, once that process started to happen, had a lifespan of about five to seven days. So. Kind of like in humans, if you start getting leaky gut syndrome, you're going to start getting sicker quicker, and before you know it, you know, you're not going to be around anymore. So, this is pretty cool. They studied over 10,000 female fruit flies and identified some of the changes that were going on when these bacteria were getting into their systems. And then what they did was they used different things to uh, basically cut down the bacteria in their intestines so that basically basically duplicating the fact that they don't have leaky or fixing the leaky gut syndrome. <clears throat> and when they did that, these fruit flies that were only living five to seven days were now living 20 or more days, which in the span of a life of a fruit fly, which is a very short amount of time, 20 days is a huge, huge increase in uh, the uh, lifespan. So, how can we take this information and make it applicable to humans? Well, you want to understand that um, you've got to keep your gut very healthy. That is the biggest thing. So, um, things like if you have a lot of gas, all right, that means you've got bacteria that's producing that smelly gas in your intestines. And um, so that's one of the signs that you can look for to see if you have this problem. Another uh, way to look at it is if you seem to get getting sick more often, or if you get sick but just really can't seem to get over it. You know, you, you're okay, but you're not quite right. <clears throat> that's a good sign there too. So if you have those type of issues, Go see a chiropractor. Um, the great thing about the chiropractic profession is that we're not going to go and try to give you some type of drugs that are going to have side effects to, you know, 
to even though they do some good things, there are other things that are going to be bad that the same drug is going to produce in your body. What we're going to do is we're going to help your body fight that bad bacteria and then we'll help you replenish the good bacteria that are supposed to be in your intestines so that your body can get rid of that leaky gut syndrome. Um, that's it for the information from this episode of Ask Dr. Jack. I'm Dr. Jack Bielitz, chiropractor in Omaha, Nebraska, here to help you with any type of uh, medical or uh, health-related questions that you have. If you would like to ask a question that you would like me to research, please email me at askdrjackb, that's A-S-K-D-R-J-A-C-K-B-E-E, -E, at gmail.com, or call the office at 402-333-4848, or stop in and ask your question in person. Um, if you have any uh, health concerns that you would like to look over and maybe get some help with, I would love to help you out because that's what I enjoy doing. Anyway, have a very happy and healthy day and I will see you on the next episode of Ask Dr. Jack.